Hello, welcome to the Trial On Podcast. I'm your host, Bo. It's my co-host, the people's host, the defeated host, Denny. How you going, mate? Oh, I've had better days. Seen better days. How are you? How were you? How were you last night? Oh, I was just defeated last night. You know, like it was just a just a crap feeling. Plus, I was I, I'm I'm trying not to drink, so I was just kind of sitting on my couch and in silence in silence after the game ended, just thinking. Yeah, uh, I was thinking. I, I I held off calling you because I knew you'd be hurting, but I had to. I had to because you were you were so bullish about this series, and you have been about multiple series, <laughs> especially over Freddie's reign. You you're always supremely confident about New South Wales. Fact of the matter is, you've had the better team for five seasons and picked up three wins. So, um, I will say, I thought New South Wales were really good last night. Thought they defended really well. They just a couple of errors cost them the game. We're going to go through the whole game. We will touch on those errors. There's a couple of blatant ones, um, but first, I would just want to say I think that was one of the greatest deciders I've watched. I think the storylines heading into the game helped, especially for Queensland. Anyway, storylines heading uh, heading into the game were Cam Munster's out. Queensland can't win. They're not going to have enough points. Are you going to bring Tommy Dearden in in a decider? Well, you did. And you played outstanding. Um, even for New South Wales, they were missing probably four of their best players. Uh, Turbo, uh, Cam Murray, Latrell Mitchell, Payne Haas. Uh, Cam Murray went down really early. The rest of them missed this game. And they were still ultra competitive. Then for Queensland to lose two players in the first three minutes for the whole game. And I have 15 players and still play an origin that was that fast and that physical and come out on top. That was crazy. We had a fight. We had so much drama. I, I thought it was end to end in the first half. What Blues went in twelve ten. I thought this was the greatest uh, decider I think I've seen, especially in recent memory. And Origin just delivers all the time, and you could just feel it watching the game. You could feel the energy. I just wanted to be there so bad. I think mm. I stood up for like the last ten minutes of the game, but. Can you can you take anything out of the game because you've lost? Can you take any of that out of the game, or is it just a bad feeling? Oh, uh, look, I, you know, around the fifty minute mark, I told you this last night. Around the fifty minute mark, I was just like thinking to myself, Queensland are going to win this. New South Wales were up; it was still twelve ten at the time, and you could just you just had a feeling that Queensland were were you know they were up for it, even though it was all against them. They were missing their best player. They were down two people or two players. Sorry, you just had a feeling. But yeah, yeah. Like as you said, it was it was a great game, uh, real competitive. You know, apart from the loss, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I thought um probably one of the best things to happen to Queensland was, <clears throat> unfortunately, Cobo went down, but it pushed Gago out of the wing and it shored up that right edge a bit. Mm. Look, Capewell was great and great. Capewell was great in attack on that edge. I think he he got um he got Burton a couple times and they had some joy down there in the first half. Um. But before we get into the game, I I put it out to the people on Discord last night. I said, give me some questions for Denny for the start of the show. Um, I said you wouldn't see it. You didn't see it. I'm going to call this going to call this uh, this segment, Take Your Licks. Okay. All right? And it's going to be a running segment. So if if I am boilish about the Cowboys winning something and they lose, then you get to do it back to me. But this is Take Your Licks, first edition with Denny. Start first question is you reckon Shop will get revenge on Gagai? Shop. Aaron yeah. Shop. I think he's uh out this weekend as well. Aaron Shop's out. What yeah. do you mean he's gonna get revenge on him? I think they must play each other. No, well, why would Shop do it? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's ridiculous. Um by the way, it's just snappy answers, first thing that comes to your head. Okay. okay? Yeah. Does Burton retain his spot next year? No. What was the key uh, in the Queensland victory? Um, oh, I think Pong had a great game. I think Pong's the reason they won. He looked dangerous okay. every time he ran the ball. How did Tino not get Sinbin for the headlock on Burton? Oh, look, I can understand him not getting Sinbin. He didn't really... All he, all he did was hold bloody old mate back and I guess try and break it up, but... Oh, that was very diplomatic. I expected worse from you there. Uh, has Ben has Ben unredeemed himself after the 2015 Grand Final? No. 
Will DCE be the captain of the Maroons next year? Yep. How much did you lose on the punt? None. Good man. Why are New South Wales so bad? That's from Kangaroo. <sighs> Honestly, next question. I'm done with Kangaroo. <laughs> uh, will Tom Dearden stay in the 17 after the game he's played? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I, yeah, to, I told you this last time. I think he'll be 18th man next year. Yeah. Give Cherry Evans first crack and see how he goes. Hard to drop him after last night. Yep. All right, let's get in the game. Start of the game. Three HIAs in the first three minutes. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy stuff. Um, I didn't think there was any foul <clears throat> play in any of them. The one thing I didn't like out of the three of them was Luai standing over Cobo when he was mm. knocked out. That's shades of what Jairo did a couple of years ago. Not as uh, bad. Thoughts but, on that? Uh, it wasn't as bad as what Jairo did, but I like when I was watching it, when I first saw it, I didn't see him do it. Then after watching the replay, I was like, oh, you know, that's never on. What kind of standing over a, a player that's been knocked out. I just don't think that's like in in the nature of the sport. And the, yeah, the spirit of the game. The spirit I thought, of the game. I thought it's hard to know at the time, like if you've run over him or if he's actually like full KO'd. Yeah. Well, he, he, it's he, like splits, it, split second. Yeah. And he didn't run over him, so it's like you can't really... Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't like it, but I, I just didn't know if that was because of a Queensland. And I'm not a big fan of Luai at the best of times. Uh, and then, so then the game kind of settles down a little bit. I thought Tom Gilbert coming on. Tom Gilbert was outstanding. Tom, he's going to be a massive loss for the Cowboys. Uh, then we get Tino put on report for that swinging arm on Burton, mm. proving once again that Origin is definitely referee different to club football. He spends 10 in the bin for that. Yeah, he did. Like, like, yeah, direct forceful contact to the head. I didn't have a lot of uh, issues with it. I thought it was on the way down. Uh, I thought it was okay. Happy with the penalty. Then we get the Val Holmes try. Soft. Make of this? That was so soft. Most of Queensland tries were just soft. It's just like, just grabs. Yeah. So I think um, I saw a still image of that try and Crichton's looking directly at the ball instead of looking up at who he's defending. And uh, Val manages to just run a good, good hole and... Deedon puts it on a platter, which is a good start for Deedon. Yep. That's uh, 12 minutes in. I thought the game was played at a frantic pace. I thought uh, maybe New South Wales had the better of that opening exchange too. Do you know Queensland had nine tries this lap? Oh, really? Yeah, that's unbelievable. I that's, knew that, That's huge. Yeah, I knew they had a fair few. I didn't know exactly yeah. how many, but yeah. Yeah. Nine. Um, I think they got them all right though. So credit to the referees there. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you make of the referee? Oh, uh, I mean, it wasn't so bad. Uh, you could tell that both teams were slowing the game down a fair bit, and he kind of he kind of kept to himself. He didn't call many six scans or penalties for for crowding or anything like that. So I I thought it was good. I thought he let the game flow. I thought he was going to do that. I said that on the preview. I thought he'd just keep his whistle in his pocket and yep. just let them kind of work it out. Yeah. But I think it was less one sided than the first game. I thought Queensland held down a lot, and New South Wales didn't really. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I thought both teams did it. Yeah. So I agree with you there. Then we get the Jerome Luai try. Uh, great put down by, from him. A lot of people get into Cleary after this loss already. I thought Cleary was okay. Yeah, he wasn't. He like he wasn't. He didn't do anything special. But I mean, he didn't like he did nothing wrong the whole game. Yeah, there's a guy on Twitter that hates uh, Nathan Cleary, mm-hmm. and after every State of Origin, he has gone and he goes in detail about the amount of tries he bombed and. Opportunities wasted. Uh, He's got too much time on his hands. I read him today. It's nitpicking at straws, and f- people don't understand. You don't have to. You're not trying to score every single possession. Yeah. So he he passes up like a couple of three on twos out the back to go short. But sometimes you're setting up for that. Yeah. You know what I mean, you keep you keep going short. So then they're thinking, oh, he's going to go short. Then you play out the back. So yeah. Um, I thought he's all right. I thought this was a good try for Luai. Uh, what'd you make of Luai's series? Oh, I thought it was better than his previous series for sure. I think he, I think I think he needs to get a little bit more involved though, like in his kicking game, and he needs to run the ball more. That's he's good at running the ball, like running off, running off the cuff, like just yeah. playing, just just playing what he sees in front of him. And I don't think that he's he, he did that like too much through the series. Yeah, I think he's got to back himself a little bit more. There, there was a moment in the, uh, I think it was in the first half. 
Let me think about that. Yeah, it was in the first half. And they had the they had the three on two again. But he plays short to Burton where he just had to throw that face ball. He hits tile in the corner corner. He, he scores easy. Yeah. Um but that's just him not backing himself. I thought it, his last two games were probably his best in blues jerseys. I thought he was good in the decider as well. Uh and that's coming from someone that actively <coughs> does not like him. Alright, what's next? We get uh, Jacob Saifidi comes on the field. How many times were we wrong in this series about players like we had Jackie Whiten? Everyone's like, well, what's he doing at centre? Comes mm. out, brains it. Uh, Jacob Saifidi comes into the team. He had a great, his first stint was outstanding. Uh, Jake Trebojevic in game two, we were both like, what's doing? Yeah. He had a great game too. Tommy did, and we thought Ben Hunt should have started. Tom did. And, for him, that no one saw that game come from him last night. Last no. night, and then Jacob Sofidi gets on, has a hit up off the dropout, which is just that's origin, like how he just winds up, bends the line, leaves a couple of people on the ground, and then he gets a much deserved try. Uh, what'd you make of this one? I thought it was a soft try, uh, it's like really soft, but I mean, he was well, that's I guess that's what you get for uh, running hard and 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 direct. I think that's what Freddie said too. They crossed the box, and Freddie said that's that's just a reward for hard running. Yeah, I think Appy Corsi around the ruck, really creative, and just throws that uh, short ball. Jacob Sofidi hits an unders line there, and there was a lot of fatigue in the game. So that's that that's especially in Queensland's middle. That's where they're going to score points. And I thought, as a Queensland fan, I thought this was where you were just going to kick on mm. after that. I really. Uh, I hated that try, to be honest. <laughs> but I thought he was going to kick on. Then we get down to probably the biggest error, maybe the biggest error in the game, definitely one of the most crucial errors in the game. Queensland put up a kick. Daniel Tupo's in all sorts underneath the kick. Instead of just letting it bounce out or putting a foot on the line and trying to just touch the ball out on the full, he tries to catch it, touches the ball, goes out. Two minutes to go at this point. What's your thoughts on that? Look, Daniel Tupo, he... I don't understand why he got picked for this series. Like, he... In this game, there there was no urgency about him. That He was jogging everywhere. Like, when Chervens put a kick in that went to, like, New South Wales dead ball line, Corey Oates was sprinting down the field, yeah. and uh, Daniel Tupo was just jogging back. And they got to the ball pretty much at the same time, and Corey Oates was, like, what, 20, 30 metres behind him at the time. And then that... that Come on, like what's he doing? Like, did the uh, maybe the atmosphere kind of got to him? All those fans, yeah, like being so close to the field as well. Maybe it just got to him a little bit. I, I like your shout on the urgency. That like yeah, Corey Oates gets a lot of slack for his uh, inconsistencies, but that that chase there puts them on a on a ton of pressure in that to start that set because he ends up making that tackle. He grabs on, holds on. They make that tackle. And then the next three tackles are just like a an absolute slaughter for New South Wales. Real tough runs. Yeah. Um, just a lack of urgency there. And that, I just don't know why he plays at that yeah. ball. I, that just dumbfounds me. And then, I don't know if you remember this. I don't remember exactly when it was. I think it was in the second half. Cherry Evans puts a kick, puts kick in on the fifth tackle and Daniel Tupo is still in the line. He's not back. Yeah. yeah. He needs to no. So Daniel Tupo is out. He's gone. He'll never play. I think he'll never play New South Wales again. I think it's probably Swali Tom. I'd say anyone else but Tupo, please. Yeah. All right, and then we get a couple of set restarts in a row from the Blues. I was getting a little bit worried because it was two in a row. I thought, now, was he thinking back to the other game? Would there have been a sim bin if there was another one? I don't know if he wanted to be the story. That didn't matter because Kirk Catewell ends up. With another great put down, then that and Luai, they were really high pressure put downs mm. there. Big play from Harry Grant, kick early in the tackle count, cops a deflection off Luai, and Capewell scores. Yep. Yep. I thought that was massive. I, that's that's when I, because I walked around all day right at work. I'll tell you right now, I walked around all day, and everyone knows I'm a Queenslander. Come up and said it to me said, well, New South Wales are going to win. No, no months later. And I, kept, I told every single person that talked to me, to Queensland will win. And this was the moment that I thought, we're going to win the game. Just a dumb, dumb mistake from by New South Wales. We find a way to score. 
And then from then on, we pretty much controlled the rest of the contest. Like it's a, we had most of the ball in the second half. I think um, you struggled to get out of your end. And we just controlled the uh, the rest of the contest. We come in after half time, literally 40 seconds after half time, we, we see the first flight in Origin we've seen in years. Just purely, we'll, we'll, we'll break down the fight, but just pull, purely seeing punches thrown, how'd that make you feel? Oh, barely any punches landed. But it was, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good to see. Just like we haven't seen that in years. I, I, and I like that they both, two of them got sent. I would have, wouldn't have liked if one of them got sent. But they both got sent, so then no one's really disadvantaged by it. And just, just throw them. I'm sick of, I'm sick of the push and oh. shove. Just throw them. Both spend ten in the sideline. Anyway, we'll break it down. Uh, Kalen Ponga makes a line break, gets brought down by Isaiah. Great tackle that. Really good tackle. Uh, Callum Pong gets up and plays the ball. Cherry Evans uh, gets the ball, plays on, breaks the line, chip and chase. And then I don't, we didn't end up seeing a grounding, but it looked like he scored. Not sure about that. Mm, yeah. I, I, I'm i going to... Re- I'm going to say I reckon he knocked it on. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon... It, didn't, it looked like there was a lot of bodies around. Daniel Sofidi was one of the ones that was getting to the ball as Jacob. well. So good on him. Jacob, that's it. Um, but in the back play, we see Ponga try and get up. Now... I think it's me Queensland lenses on here. I, Burton's looking at him the whole time. I don't know how he accidentally runs into him. If you watch the footage, he's looking at him, looking at him, looks away. Ponga gets to get up, and then he kind of runs into him. I don't think Burton is that kind of player. Gagai took ex- exception to it, comes and uh, attacks him off the ball, and then they start throwing. Tino gets him into a headlock. I was of the same belief as you, and people, this is not going to be popular. I'm on the same belief as you. I thought it, Tino was trying to break it up. I thought Tino was trying to pull him away. I don't think Tino was holding him there to get King it. But that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's, that's what he was doing, though. It, it, it didn't look good, but I thought Tino was... Well, not trying to break it up. I think Tino was trying to pull him away. I think oh, Tino you know what? I got I got to watch this. Well, you can't watch it now. Okay. We're in the middle of a show. Um, I got to rewatch it. I, I did rewatch it last night, and I was thinking, oh, you dog. But maybe I've, I've yeah. slept. I've had a bit of a. I've had a sleep, and it, di- it didn't look good. It didn't play good on TV. I thought what was worse, and people, no one's really said anything about this. I thought Tom Gilbert coming in. You, you go when you really watch it. Go watch Tom Gilbert. Go watch what Tom Gilbert does. Does he kind of like throw that's, throw the arm oh, around? No, it's he. Burton kind of gets turned around, and Tom Gilbert just leads shoulder first straight into Burton's head. Like I thought, that's what done his cheek. Oh yeah. I thought it was the, the Tom Gilbert thing. But uh, a lot of people saying... A lot of people saying Tino should have been binned. Uh, you're a yes or no on that? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm, I can see where people are kind of saying that he deserved to get binned. I can see, yeah. I can see both sides. I'm going to go... No. But, you know, it, I... I couldn't care less right now. It's over. It's done. Yeah. I just... Yeah, I don't know. It was tough. Uh, Talakai comes on the field at the 45th minute. Uh, what'd you make of Talakai? He's done... He did nothing. He did nothing all game. I don't know. I don't understand how he, he got picked again after he had a shit game two. And then you've yep. got players like... You've got actual... And he got thrown in the middle when he's an edge player. Like, you got actual middle forwards that yep. weren't picked. Like, Regan Gamble Giller, yeah. Dave Clemmer, you, Daniel Saviti, any of those blokes. Dave Clemmer would have been dangerous in this game. Yeah. Especially with the uh, with the physicality early. Yeah. That's his bread and butter. It would have been good to see. Uh, penalty on Daly Cherry Evans for a dangerous tackle. Um, yes, no? Uh, it was above the horizontal. But, you know, I would have been all right if it was just play on. But, yeah. yeah. Good to see uh, Nathan Cleary gets sat there. That was good. <laughs> After he threw the ball. Uh, yeah, always. Decides to pick him up. Typical yeah, Queensland always. dog. Yeah, I would have done the same. Uh, the boys are back on uh, that 10 minutes. No real damage done there. Then we jump into... I thought Nenai had a really good game. Probably his best game he's had in a Queensland jersey. And I thought they finally used him as a kick option. He's great in the air. He challenged... They, they almost scored two tries off it. He challenged well in the air. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, he almost scored three tries, actually. I think um, he almost scored one and almost set up two for Josh Papali. Then the game's kind of in the balance, a little bit back and forth. It's in the middle of the park. Then we get insert Ben Hunt. That 40-20 mm. was just, it was just inch perfect. Nailed it. How big a play is that for Ben Hunt? And how good has he been in Queensland jerseys recently? It's it's just the Queensland players. Once they put that jersey on, it's like they they just like are 10 times better. Yeah. But yeah, I think Queensland's kicking game was was great. Like Ben Hunt kicking, and it, it was mostly early, mostly before last, like fourth, third. There's a, a kick on second tackle there, which got him out of trouble, and then put New South Wales in 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 a tough spot. So I thought, yeah, well that that was like a nail for me for New South Wales. They they were just camped in their end for the, the next twenty minutes. Benny Hunt after that kick, yeah, that's with twenty to go. <clears throat> In saying that, New South Wales defend their line so well. I thought they were going to get out of it. They just kept defending, kept defending. But then we had just little, little errors from the Blues, like the pass back into their in goal from Stephen Crichton. That is just mm. rubbish, in- inexcusable. Talakai knock on about one meter out from the line. Junior Junior yep. Paulo's um, knock on first touch of his second stint. Just those dumb errors, man. Jerome Lewis throwing the ball in the touch. Yeah. And it's like that that just puts a whole heap of pressure back on us. Like Well, three of those four, I'm pretty sure are get out of set kind of errors. And and I'm pr- they, I think they might have been might have even been back to back. In back to back to back sets. We saw a couple of early kicks from Queensland getting out of their own end. I think we saw one from Deedon on second tackle. We saw an early one from uh Benny Hunt for the forty twenty. Cherry Evans' kicking game was outstanding all night. Do you think New South Wales missed the trick there, coming out of their own end, playing off just effort on effort? They they just kept getting turned around and never kind of got on the front foot. Do you think they should have entertained a kick early? Because it seems like all they wanted to do was bomb. Yeah, no, I, yeah, an early kick would have done all right, and I I guess Burton, you know, he's he's shown that he can you know do like a a long kick, a long high kick, yep. um, but they I. I think he only did two of his bombs and one of them went backwards. And the other one went into the fucking stratosphere. That was, that was the biggest kick I've seen yeah. in my life. That was unbelievable. Yeah, that was huge. Um, yeah. I, Matty Burton, I, I I don't think he really did enough to help his team get out of trouble. He, I, he, I saw him take one tough run and that was when Cobo yeah. got knocked out. But after that, I don't think I saw him take one tough run out of his own end. Yeah. And especially that that's where Jack Whiten helps you a lot. Yeah. Great runner of the ball. Does not give a shit about any contact. He will get in there and have a run. Yeah. But Burton also could have impacted in different ways too. Like he could have gone and got the ball and kick, you know what I mean? Like like you said. But it's the willingness to get in the game. The same with Luai when the game's in the balance. Uh, they should have got in the game a little bit more. Let's talk about Kalen Ponga's try because I think it highlighted both fullbacks, this try. Uh, Tommy Deedon makes a break about 10 seconds earlier, splits the line. James Tedesco comes up with a wonder tackle. Fox League, I'll tell you right now, they're a bunch of trolls. They don't watch the game. They mustn't know what's going on. Fox League, give James Tedesco a 7 for this game. Out of 10. Out of 10. You're off your head. No, he's... I don't know what it, what more he could have done. There's nothing more he could have done. He was awesome. Uh, off his head. He makes a great tackle, and that's when I was starting to think they're not going to crack at me. Like they're just they're just going to keep showing up. And then we go to Ponga, bad miss from Talakai, but Ponga probably deserved a try in this game. I thought he was just just the amount of effort he put in. I think they end up correcting it. It was eighteen tackle breaks. Now it's sixteen tackle breaks. Still, that's monumental. Yeah. What'd you make of this? It's just soft. Again, so soft from Talakai. And who was that other player that kind of came across? Was it? I don't know. Burton, Burton? Bert, Burton come late to try and stop him. Oh, it's, it's just soft. and it, Oh, man. Soft. That wasn't the TV off, though. No, the TV off was Ben... Uh, we'll, yeah. get yeah. we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> I know when the TV went off for you, mate. Uh, Paddy Carrigan gets back on the field and Tino for the last 15 minutes. Ben Hunt went off, so he must have come back on. Yep. Um, Paddy Carrigan, man of the series... What did you make of his series? His game one was really good. Obviously, he was excellent tonight as well. Yeah. Oh, End up starting. 
my player of the series, if it would have to go to Queensland, it would be Caelan Ponga. I thought he was great in, in all three games. Looked dangerous whenever he ran the ball. Like, the whole series. Whenever he ran the ball, yep. he looked dangerous. Oh, my player of the series is James Tedesco. I thought he was just outstanding. Um, On another level, you reckon? He was... He can't be touched. I, I think he's already one of the greatest that will play for the Blues. Yep. Greatest back, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Full back, anyway. All right. We get into the last 15 minutes here. Back and forth. I, I'm standing up from now on, I think. I'm standing up. I, I can't sit. We're watching this game. It's going back and forth. A couple of errors to the Maroons. They're just going bomb, bomb. New South Wales get the ball. About 30 metres out, last tackle. This seems like bomb time to me. This seems like bomb, contest, hope for the error, set up, and you get an opportunity. The chip and chase, though. The chip and chase 30 metres out. Not sure about it. Ben Hunt, charge down, regather, runs about 70 metres to score. I think it's I think it's one of the great origin tries. What did you think of it? The TV was off. That, that's when the TV was <laughs> off. I, I I honestly couldn't believe it. And there was there was one other time when New South Wales were down that that end of the field, and I think it was it was last tackle. I think Nathan Cleary just got tackled. Last tackle, the ball goes to Jerome Luai, and he yeah. passes it out to his back row, and they take the tackle in the corner on last tackle. <laughs> And they're, they're 10 metres out. Yeah. Last tackle, 10 metres out, you're down, and you decide to run the ball when it's three on three. They miss a trick a couple of times with some... Uh, like, this obviously was a terrible option. I think Nathan Cleary kicks it dead earlier in the game, too. That's really good. Unexcusable in origin. Um, but Benny Hunt. Fucking hell. That's just... That's so special. And then that brings us to the end of the game. 22 to 12, Queensland, 52 and a half thousand there. And you could hear every single one of them. Uh, you're happy with the man of the match, Callum Ponga, I'm guessing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that too. I thought, like I said, James Tedesco, player of the series, special mention uh, for tonight. Tom Gilbert, Tom Dearden. I think you won't be a fan of Tommy Gilbert after tonight, I don't think. No. After you watch that replay. I'm telling no. you, you won't like it. Um Tom Gilbert, I thought, was so good. Val Val had probably one of his best series he's ever had. He was outstanding in the centres. I thought Oates was okay. Gags, Gags are a lot better on the wing because he doesn't have to make those snap defensive decisions. All he's got to do is shoot. That's it. And that's what he likes to do. Uh, sad to see Lindsay Collins go down. I thought he was great in game two. Harry Grant, good as well. Anyone for New South Wales you want to give... Props too. I thought Appy was really good again. Oh, nah. <laughs> Condemn them all. For now, anyway. All right. And I want to go through... I just want to go through the New South Wales team list and give you just snap. Are they in the side next year or not? Okay. Just top top of your head. James Desco. Yep. Toll. Yep. Burton. Nah. Crichton. Nah. Tupo. No. Luai. Yeah. Cleary. Yep. Chiroovic. <sighs> this is a tough one. Maybe. That's a 50-50. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to get a yes or no from you. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'll go, yeah. All right. Appy. Yep. Junior. Yep. Murray. Yep. Martin. Yep. Yo. Yep. Sayafidi. Yep. Does Daniel come back in? As well? I think it'll be out of those two. Yep. We'll just say uh, one of the Sayafidis are going to be there. Cook. Mm. Yes. Crichton. No. And your mate Talakai. No. All right, let's get into this week's games. That's it. That's it for taking uh, your licks. Now, we have a solid... Uh, t- usually, it's to 12. Because we had to do this, you get you, you got an extra 10 hours. That's unfortunate. That makes up for you giving me so much shit in 10 Oh, hours, it was okay? one night. You, 
No, yeah, but you just give me enough for the rest of the, the year that oh, night. Barely. Night. But that's it. That's it now. Like, you don't cop it anymore. It's over. We do have a strict till midnight rule, but it's been extended 10 hours because uh, of the podcast. That's it. All right. I think I messaged you in the middle of the night last night. Yeah, I was already asleep. Yeah. Quarter past one. Yeah, quarter, yeah, quarter, quarter past, past one. Quarter past 12 or quarter past one. Licks. One of them. Uh, something like that. Take your fucking licks. <clears throat> anyway, that's over. Well done. See you next year. Queensland on top. For now. Let's get into the games. All righty. The game's round 18. Uh, what is this? Oh, we go on the actual games. Yeah, the games. The game's just gone? No, the game, the game, we already done the game. It's just gone. We're into the games for this week, mate. Mate, I'm in all sorts. All right, uh, the first game, we've got the Cowboys taking on the Sharkies. Uh, obviously, no, uh, what's his name, Val. And I don't think Nana are backing up in this one. Yeah, you couldn't imagine Tom Dearden plays either. I think he he might. 80 minutes in origin. I think he's, they're probably still partying and everything. I don't think he'll play. So, who, who are you going to have... You know, ben Hampton on the bench you're going to have him come yeah, into the probably six play. probably play it. I don't think important period here for the Cowboys I don't think we need to win them all we're in a really good position I don't think you need to risk Dearden we're kind of it's kind of about preserving what we've got now yeah we can't we can't go below third really um, we can't really drop out of the top four that's what I'm saying so I don't think we need to rush Tommy Gilbert back for this one either mm. I'm going to go to the Cows but I don't think it's that important of a game for us I think the Sharkies will be winning this one, to be honest. Pardon me. Um, yeah, $2 is a nice bet for the Sharks. So what? The Cowboys are favourites? Yeah. Mm, Cowboys missing too many players, I think. Yeah, I think so. I don't think the Sharkies are just going to be missing Talakai. He won't. No big loss. Yeah, no. He's... <laughs> I'm done with Talakai. I'm over him. <laughs> All right. Eagles Warriors danger game uh, hashtag danger game danger 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 uh, just my danger. luck Warriors will be winning this one 13 plus <laughs> I can always guarantee you the Warriors will win this one oh, it's, it's gonna hurt too it's gonna really hurt they're just gonna have the best game of the entire season and then next week they're gonna come out and play like shit you watch yeah uh, I'll, I'll be going the Eels I gotta back the Eels but, but... You watch, you watch him win this week and the Raiders put 50 on him next week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Roosters, Dragons. Uh, at the Central Coast, this one. When is this? Friday, isn't it? Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Saturday 3. Oh, I'm working. I uh, probably wouldn't have gone anyway. Still be uh, probably sucking. But uh, you reckon uh, Teddy backs up? Uh, I think so. Important game for the Roosters. they got to, they got to keep winning, so I think he will. Yeah, for sure. Uh, ben Hunt backs up. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say yeah, that he, he will. Uh, he's on, I reckon he'll be on a bit of a high. He'll have a good game. Yeah, but I think the Roosters will win. I am going to say, yeah, I'm with you. The Roosters will be winning this one. They have to win. The Roosters have to win. Yeah, because what are they in their 10th? Yeah. They, they need to get some wins. Yep. Roosters win. Yep. Uh, Manly versus the Knights. I don't think Ponga plays. Uh, they've they've been constantly resting him after Origins. I just he'll probably want to play. Jesus, if he plays anything like he did the other night for the for the Knights, they'll be happy. Uh, I'm gonna go the Manly Seals. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll go Manly as well. The Knights. I mean, they've looked all right the last couple of games, but just Braley helps. Uh, Jaden. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. he looked good when he was out there last week. Yeah, he's got great service from dummy enough too. Have a look at him for fantasy too. He got thirty six points in forty minutes somewhere. Like yeah, well, I probably won't. I'm running out of trades, mate. You get another four, like very short. Yeah, what like three weeks or something? Yeah, Titans Broncos. Uh, let's see here. The Broncos will be winning. The Titans, they're bad. Yeah, they always stand up in this game, though. I think it would be like 26-24 Broncos. No, it will it'd either be close or it'll be like a massacre. It won't be like 10 like a ten or 12 points. It'll be like 30 points. Yeah, I think I think it'll be like the 10 or 12. Wow. Or four. Or four. Didn't you just say two? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. West Tigers, Panthers. 
Oh, well, the Tigers see. got him yeah. in this in this one last time. It's first first last. Yeah, but then they're resting plenty, plenty. Oh, you know what? I will be back in Tigers. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Tigers as well. Fuck it. Yeah, when he yeah I'm not. Go yeah, I'm, over, I'm off the Panthers for now. Yeah, well, seven of them just let you down. So, yeah. Yeah. Storm Raiders, great record. The Raiders at Amy Park. Okay, so I was gonna say I was gonna tell you this if the sh- if the Storm had lost last week by thirty points. Oh no, if they had thirty points put on them, sorry, which they should have had, because uh, what's his name kicked two from six and they. They mm. scored 28. They came out and beat the Raiders the next week, like 60-something, 60 64-4 to four or something. Oh, really? Yeah. So you reckon it's going to be a massacre? I think this will be a massacre. I think it would be like 50 to 10. They don't lose three in a row, the Storm. They're winning. No. And last game of the round, three games on Sunday. I like that. I get Sundays off. Bulldogs, Rabbitohs. I think Rabbitohs are in a mood at the moment. I think they'll be winning. Yeah, Bunnies will be winning. Latrell is going to have a field day. I think Latrell, two, three, Cody one, Cody one, and uh, old Jono gets a couple too. Down that left hand side. Yeah, yep. left hand side money. So just to recap, uh, you're going to Sharks, I'm going to Cowboys. We're both going the Eels. Danger game. Hashtag game, danger yep. game. Roosters, Manly, uh, both on the Bronx, both on the Tigers. Go the Tigers. Go the West Tigers. Storm and. <laughs> the Rabbitohs. That's it for this week. Thanks for that. Denny, New South Wales, us, Queensland. End it and finish it. <laughs> okay.